Hello and welcome back to Katie's Business Tips. Glad to be with you. Michael Lapete here talking to you about corporations and specifically the corporate board of directors. What is a director, first of all, and what are they responsible for? Well, the name director kind of tells it all. They're there to direct, right? Direct the company. And in essence, they're responsible for supervising the activities of the corporation and making the final decisions a lot of times on those activities, okay? Your corporation must always have at least one director, but you could also have multiple directors. And listed in your articles of incorporation, you would have how many limit the directors are as well. The number of director is also indicated of how many people you want making the decisions. How many people do you jointly want making the decisions? In a smaller company, it might be one. In a bigger company, it might be multitudes, right? Depending on the size of the company is how big the board would be. Now, directors are elected by shareholders, okay? So the majority shareholders will typically elect the directors. So the director can also be let go by the shareholders. And sometimes the director is also a shareholder in some cases. In many cases, actually, okay? Typically, an individual in a small corporation might be everything. You might be the shareholder, the only shareholder. You might be the only director and the only officer. That's possible. It's not the ideal situation, but in a small corporation, that is possible. Now, the requirements of being director is that you must be 18 years of age. You must not have been declared incapable under the laws of the province or the territory, okay? or by a court outside of Canada as well. You must be an individual and you must not be in bankrupt status. That's the only qualifications, pretty straightforward. At least 25% of the directors of a corporation in Canada must be resident Canadians. So 75% could be outside of the country, but 25% have to be here. If a corporation has fewer than four directors, at least one of them must be resident of Canada. Directors are allowed to hold shares of the corporation. Of directors of corporation are not required to hold shares. Okay, so let's make that clear. You may be a shareholder, but you're not required as a director. Directors can be elected for terms up to three years. Now, if it's your own corporation, you're just going to keep kind of signing yourself every year at the registry because in the annual return it says, did I change any directors? What were the directors change of the company? Now, the length of the director's mandate can be set out in the bylaws, so you might have it longer. Directors' terms end up in their reg resignation, death, or disqualification, or by removal of shareholders, right? So you pass away, uh, you know, something happens to you, you get disqualified because of one of those qualifications, or you resign, then you're out, right? Also, if the shareholders can vote you out, you're out as well. And if your corporation has no directors at all, the director of Corporations Canada is allowed to dissolve the corporation. So you must have a director when you incorporate. And my suggestion is if you're incorporating, you want to make sure that you have you know, things in place so that it doesn't get dissolved and we can deal with any situations later or fixing things up later. If you got any questions on directorship, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for being a part of our business tips and we'll see you in the next video.